was really good at what he did. Um, but Graham came in with a whole new concept of how hotels operate. And he's actually instrumental in moving us into the new millennium. Um, got us a lot more technically involved um, in the way of technology and that sort of thing. But also just some of the concepts that he had um, really changed the way we do business and made us a lot better at what we do. Um, I have to admit, the first year with him was a little tumultuous. You have to realize that can happen in any organization. It's not necessarily the person and it's not necessarily you. It's because things are changing. And you're used to how things are. And so you have to do this mindset adjustment. And he was undoubtedly doing the same thing, trying to get his concepts um, instilled in us. So one of the biggest challenges he put to us within that first year and to our head office as well, was to create this document called a five-year um, strategic plan. And the first year of putting that together was absolutely horrendous. It took hours and hours to put this document together. What it's turned out to be is our map for what we do. So every Coast Hotel has a five-year um, strategic plan. Head office has one. Our parent company has one. Um, so it really all flows together and it makes sense. But um, that first little while, we all thought he was a bit crazy. He may be a bit crazy, but for the right reason. Um, so we realized we really had been operating without a solid roadmap. And to have this now has made a huge difference in what we do. I'm really an advocate of our strategic plans now. And I really enjoy the process. Every year we go back and revisit and um, make sure that everything in there is valid and that it's um, worthy of where we're going. So I'll just give you an idea because uh, this really is the backbone to our business. So we start with an executive summary. We go into overall positioning because positioning of your company and, and the hotel operation you have is really important to know where you are in the marketplace and who you are. Key measurable goals. Roadmap or a plan is not very good unless you can actually measure that you've made some success with it. So for ours, we look at REVPAR index, GOP, ASI, which is Ambassador Satisfaction Index, which is our employee um, survey, and Guest Satisfaction Index. Those letters stand for Satisfaction, Intent to Return, and Value, and that comes from our guest comment cards. Pest analysis, so we look externally, what's going to impact our business over the next five years, political, economic, social, and technological. There's been a lot in that section of the plan recently. Pillars objectives, um, best way to describe this plan is to think of our corporate head office or our hotel as a table, and then there are four legs that hold the table up. So for the hotels, we, are, we have in common the fact that our pillars are people, rooms, food and beverage, and property. And property means the actual structure or building that you're in. And then we go into a detailed analysis of each pillar. And again, you've got to have your key measurable goals as they apply to each one, because otherwise it's not a plan. And then we look at the market. Um, I think when Mark Hope was here, he showed you the five-year supply and demand. Am I right? Does that sound familiar? So it's kind of a snapshot look at the marketplace and where the hotel is in the marketplace. Um, and it goes five years out. It's always, again, this is a living document, so it's always moving out to the next year. First couple of years are always relatively easy to, to get down on paper, but when you start to try and predict five years out, a bit of a stretch, but it's actually good to stretch your mind that way to really think about what's the future going to bring, what's going to happen in our profession and in our industry and in our marketplaces, the world. Um, some of the things we got right, some of them we weren't even close. But it's about trying and, and really getting um, some information down to make your map valid. Then we have a pro forma and we also look at capital. That's what we call unofficially our wish list. So that's all the things that you want to buy for the property and you hope that head office is going to say, go ahead, and then you go shopping. So 
Graham is also really, really focused on leadership. Um, for those of you who may be doing internships with us, one of the things you're going to do is meet with Graham Barrett, and he is going to talk to you and have you talk to him about leadership. He'll give you some idea of what it means to him, as well as what you believe it is. And he's going to give you books to read and all sorts of things. But he really is focused on that. He's working to develop himself into an exemplary leader. So to be around someone like that, who's really passionate about that kind of thing, really inspires you to try harder and harder. Um, one of the tools that he brought in to help us with our leadership development is something called Myers-Briggs Type Indicator. Um, it's a questionnaire, in essence, you fill out. When you take the senior level of it, um, it takes just over an hour to complete. I think there's something like 400 questions. And it's all about um, your personality, why you think the way you do, why you make decisions the way you do. And um, it's quite an interesting process to go through. It's uh, done an awful lot to help me personally build my leadership skills, but also help me with my team and help with the team building as well. So a little bit about Myers-Briggs. A psychometric questionnaire. That's big words for it. It studies psychology. It's a questionnaire that applies to people's psychology. So it measures psychological preference and how people perceive the world and make decisions. There's 16 different personality types in total. They're all done by four letters, and each of the letters means something. Different combinations thereof make up each person. And once we've gone through this process, we share our four-letter type with the rest of our teams. Now, this personality profiling sounds a little bit ominous, but uh, in reality, when you're in a situation where you're trying to communicate with somebody and you're both trying to achieve something, but you hit those roadblocks, what we found is if you go back and you say, hey, I'm an ESTJ, and they're an INTF, suddenly you realize it's not the situation we're having a problem with, it's our communication, because people communicate differently. So it really does help just to stop you, um, kind of lessens the emotion that may be raising if you're not getting on the same page with the person, and you start to go, hey, I understand. And you go at it again, and nine times out of 10, you're successful in getting a, a mutually agreeable answer. So like I said, really good at developing leadership skills and with team building, um, and helps you understand why you think the way you do. And if any of you want to try a little mini version of Myers-Briggs, that's a really great website to go to. Um, for those people in the Coast Plaza, that don't yet have the chance to go through the senior Myers-Briggs, I put them through that. And uh, it's interesting, even though this is a really short version of the big one, um, how accurate it can be. People really enjoy it. Oh, and that leads me to Probably the biggest thing that Graham did for us was to help us understand who we are. When Graham came into the company and he started asking questions, he did a lot of that to begin with, asked everybody a lot of questions. He realized we were really good at saying who we were not. So if I was asked, what's Coast Hotels? What's the Coast Plaza? Well, it's not the Hyatt, it's not the Westin, it's not Sheraton but I couldn't really articulate what it was, nor could anybody else. So Graham set about helping us find our identity because he really believes that unless you know who you are, how are you gonna figure out where you're going? So again, we went through another process. Um, he struck a committee where we all got together and we all tried to nail down our identity and what it was about Coast Hotel.